Hey, everyone. Today, I have a fascinating topic to discuss. I've been meaning to talk about this, but um, finally, I got a chance to discuss about this. This is uh, healing benefits of mushrooms. We all know, because basically, mushrooms are everywhere in our backyards, and but um, we need to know which ones are good and what are the culinary mushrooms. And in this topic, I'm just going to give you a gist of everything. First, look at the history of the mushrooms. And mushrooms have been used as food, medicine, and uh, spiritual aids for centuries. So research in Japan claims that mushroom has medicinal use. Shiitake was combined with, you know, AIDS drugs to boost immune health and um, the combat chronic fatigue and induce antibody formation uh, to hepatitis B. Um, it has got a lot of anti-tumor um, effects and... Um, uh, so this one, oh, um, this was mushrooms originally. I'm going back to the previous slide, actually. I thought I added something, apparently I didn't. When they had the mummies, they, this was like 5,000-year-old uh, mummies we are talking about. They, they carried uh, two types of mushrooms in their mummy's necklace, in the 5,000-year-old uh, Arzi mummy that was found in Italy. Mushrooms are very rich in uh, fiber, protein, and antioxidants. So the health benefits, they're used for bacterial, viral, and fungal infections. Um, so uh, they help with the diabetes and weight loss, and um, uh, they're beneficial for the heart health. It improves neurological health, anti-cancer, and a lot of health benefits uh, from the mushrooms. They have medicinal compounds in them. So the first medicinal compound, the most important compound uh, is a special type of soluble fiber, which is known as um, beta-glucan. Beta-glucans uh, might prevent the body from absorbing the cholesterol from the food. They also stimulate the immune system uh, by increasing the chemicals that prevent infections. You know, the soluble fiber is, uh, in general, is a type of fiber uh, that dissolves in water and forms a thick gel-like substance. On the other hand, insoluble fiber does not dissolve. Um, instead, it absorbs liquid as it travels through your digestive tract. Basically, it forms the bulk for the stool. Soluble fiber slows the passage of food as it travels through your intestines, can keep you full for a longer period of time. Uh, then it slows the absorption of the sugar into the bloodstream. That's another benefit. The other biochemical uh, compounds, bioactive compounds, are terpenes and uh, phenolic compounds. You must have heard about uh, healing effects of terpenes in cannabis. Terpenes are responsible for basically the aroma. Actually, if you look at the mint and uh, lavender essential oils, the, 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 the strong aroma is coming from the terpenes. This is um, really fascinating to uh, know about uh, so many beautiful mushrooms. So the reishi mushroom is, uh, is the big one, actually, because there was a lot of research done on reishi, reishi mushrooms. Uh, this is also known as um, Ganoderma. Uh, in fact, you know, a lot of healthy people I asked, you know, they, they take um, supplements of the Ganoderma. Um, it is a fungus that grows in uh, various hot and humid locations in Asia. Uh, they have several health claims, including the uh, immune health, anti-cancer, uh, it fights uh, fatigue, depression, reduced anxiety. There's so many benefits from uh, this uh, reishi mushroom. And it's backed by several studies. That's why, you know, it is so popular. This is both um, uh, modern clinical evidence and uh, you know, traditional use in uh, many ancient cultures through this mushroom. Chaga mushroom. This is actually a fascinating mushroom. It has a long history of use in folk medicine. This actually signals the death of an impending tree. If you find this mushroom on the tree, that means the tree is going to die. Isn't that amazing that, you know, Mother Nature can sense it before we can see that the tree is going to die. And um, this has a substance called um, betulinic acid, um, which is anti-cancer, anti-fungal, and anti-parasitic substance, which means this mushroom is toxic to the cancer cells. It does not appear to harm the normal cells. That's why it is such a good natural medicine. So the powerful antioxidants in this fungus um, potentially prevent or slow the tumor growth. So no other possible benefits from this chaga mushroom are lowering the cholesterol, you know, fighting heart disease, and it regulates insulin metabolism like, uh, you know, other mushrooms. This one, cordyceps, 
is like a creepiest mushroom of all the mushrooms. Why? Mm -hmm. um, it looks like a club shaped fungus. And it's so fascinating that this mushroom grows out of this caterpillar head. This grows out of the head. Uh, and this mushroom improves um, exercise performance, fatigue, and um, it balances the immune system and supports the reproduction. Uh, and also it protects kidneys from the toxin effects from the kidneys. This one is a turkey tail mushroom. So like the picture uh, you see, it is, it looks like a turkey tail. It's more than 50% of the beta glucan content. Why this turkey tail is popular? Because you see this in many supplements. That's because more than 50% uh, of the turkey tail uh, mushroom um, has beta glucan, which is the fiber that we talked about. That's why it's uh, very popular and added to a lot of supplements. Uh, it is best known for its immune stimulating and anti-cancer properties. Several studies done on this mushroom um, showed the, these effects. It reduces the chances of cancer recurrence and protects the cells of um, toxic chemotherapy. And this one, oyster mushroom, in fact, I cooked this once. Um, it has got a little bit of a rubbery consistency. This is a culinary mushroom. Caution if you're trying this mushroom for the first time, some people are allergic to their, uh, allergic to this sports, uh, while others may experience an upset stomach, you know. Try a small amount first. Uh, to see how you, your body reacts. It, this goes well in many dishes, uh, the, but the most common way to cook this um, uh, mushroom is a simple sauteing and stir fry. Just brown them in olive oil with herbs and uh, spices of your choice. I'm going to show the pictures later. These are all other uh, culinary mushrooms. Uh, you see this one, uh, this looks so beautiful. This is called lion's mane mushroom. So it is not only therapeutic, but also beautiful and delicious to eat. So it is a culinary mushroom. It is best known to repair the nerves, actually. It might even regenerate the nervous system, which very few things do. Um, so it improves memory, it improves the cognitive function, and um, the studies done on Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and uh, they said uh, this mushroom uh, is uh, very helpful. And there are some um, anecdotal stories that this even helps with the tremors of your hands. And uh, the other mushrooms are um, the shiitake and maitake. So these two are culinary mushrooms. Uh, these are the shiitake mushroom. It is the second most um, widely cultivated mushroom. It has uh, metabolic health benefits by lowering the cholesterol. Uh, it helps prevent the viral and uh, bacterial infections. Uh, it is also uh, used in cancer treatments. And maitake mushroom, the same thing, uh, just like um, shiitake mushroom. And there's another mushroom, this is called garicus mushroom, A-G-A-R-I-C-U-S, you can see it here. This looks just like uh, white button mushrooms. That This comes from the same family as white mushroom mushrooms. It has some medicinal benefits, unlike the other you know, uh, white mushrooms. It has got the blood sugar and metabolic effects, and it improves the insulin sensitivity, and it reduces the inflammation. It's also studied for its um, anti-cancer treatments. It's a portobello mushroom. It's a beautiful mushroom. Portobello mushroom and uh, crimini mushrooms and butter mushrooms. Um, they're all very delicious, but they're not as well known for medicinal benefits. And it, it has other benefits like, you know, the soluble fiber and other nutrients that I mentioned before. And um, this is beech mushroom. You see it in um, all the stores. Just basically you trim the stem so it uh, opens up all the mushrooms and just saute it in... Uh, you know, some type of uh, gluten-free soy sauce or coconut aminos. Those are the two things that I use in addition to the olive oil. Uh, sesame oil goes well, actually, with the mushroom sauteing. So this is just from my backyard. This is backyard mushroom, like the name says. Don't eat any mushrooms if you don't, if you're not familiar with it. There are a lot of poisonous mushrooms out there. So you should know and you should learn how to identify the mushroom. It's uh, very dangerous. It could be lethal. This is a very popular topic. It's uh, psychedelic mushrooms. They're called magic mushrooms. They contain compounds uh, like um, psilocybin uh, that can have um, hallucinogenic effects. In addition to getting you high, psilocybin might also have benefits uh, for your mental and physical health. However, there's more research needed. This, uh, this is a long topic that needs separate discussion by itself. So I just wanted to touch base on that. So let's look at the recipes. Uh, so that's how the mushrooms are low calorie sources of fiber. 
they have proteins, they have um, antioxidants, some mushrooms have even vitamin D, but the vitamin D is in a D2 form in the mushrooms. They, are, they, are, they have nutty flavor and they come in many textures and flavors. And the portobello mushroom has a meaty texture. That is the one if you want to use to replace the meat. So this is my favorite um, mushroom recipe. It is a stuffed mushroom, gluten-free, very, very simple to make. You can either bake it or dehydrate it. But in this recipe, actually I dehydrated it. It came out very good, but you can just also bake it in a low setting. And um, this one is the mushroom and broccoli and uh, peas, uh, like a um, sprouted peas saute. That's uh, this recipe. It's very simple recipe. Just fry the onions and put uh, olive oil and saute it, cover it for five minutes. And uh, that's all actually. And uh, this one is the mushrooms on uh, scrambled tofu. Um, so if you can take soy, you can just uh, get the tofu and scramble it and fry it. Side, you fry the mushrooms with a little bit of soy sauce and just uh, have them together. And this is just a simple mushroom saute with uh, any type of soy sauce of your choice. You could use uh, gluten-free soy sauce or you can do the coconut aminos if you don't want even the uh, soy in the soy sauce. That is also a good one. And I think this is the soy sauce that I used. Um, it is uh, tamari, organic, and gluten-free soy sauce. This one is um, the salad, basically. Yes, it is a salad. I added uh, sauteed mushrooms to the salad. It has got the steamed um, corn also. In this uh, recipe, you can add this to any salads. And these are all the common recipes that we see, just the uh, sauteed um, vegetables, and you can use it in the sandwiches. You can use this. This is an omelet. You must have seen it on the pizza topping. I think that's it for today about the mushrooms. Hope you enjoyed the mushroom discussion.